Good evening and a warm welcome from Hereford. Uh, we're doing our second live on Facebook holding to account uh, with West Mercia Chief Constable. Um, tonight, uh, as I say, we come from Hereford and we'll be focusing primarily on budget issues. Um, we've been uh, out talking to our community over the last few months asking uh, for their questions uh, that they'd be like to be put to the force around how their money is spent. So thank you very much uh, for submitting those. There's also an opportunity for those watching live tonight to put your questions in the comments uh, below and we'll put those at the end of the session. We aim to go for about 45 uh, minutes or so and this video will stay on our Facebook stream for people to watch back uh, afterwards. Uh, before we start I'll just go around the table for introductions. So my name is John Campion and I'm the Police and Crime Commissioner. Thank you, my name is Tracy Onslow and I'm Deputy Police and Crime Commissioner for West Mercia. So, good evening, mm -hmm. Anthony Bang, I'm Chief Constable of West Mercia Police. Hi, I'm Amanda Bateman, I'm Deputy Chief Constable for West Mercia Police. Thank you. So, as I say tonight, we're uh, focusing primarily on budgets and money. Uh, we would have hoped to have had the uh, settlement uh, from <coughs> government already, so we could have discussed our budget for next year, but we haven't had it yet, so that will be coming out uh, in the coming weeks. But I wanted to start uh, with you, Anthony. Uh, we've been going around talking to some of the councils recently, and uh, you've been asked by several councillors around whether or not West Mercia has enough resources uh, to deal with the demand that's currently placed on it. And uh, I just want to give you the opportunity to set out for our uh, listeners at home as to your view on um, current assessment on the resources that you've got. Uh, thank you, John. Um, so my answer to the councillors has been that we uh, do not have enough officers to do everything that is expected of us. Uh, or indeed to do it to the uh, best ability uh, that we would like. We're, we're very stretched and we are policing currently with numbers that are similar to the numbers we had in the 1990s. So that puts considerable strain into uh, the system and considerable strain onto the police officers and the police staff who are here to serve the community. Um, having said that, uh, with the support from the public, if we can uh, perhaps manage some of the expectations in a different way, be a little bit more realistic sometimes with the things that we can do uh, and then have that very clear uh, in a way a contract with, with our local communities of what we can do and what we can do well then I can see no reason why we can't continue to provide a very visible and, and very good service and of course with some growth uh, which is most welcome at the moment with an increase in some of the police officer numbers it will allow us to do that better uh, as we move forward. So uh, today actually I've been to visit a double intake course uh, headquarters of new uh, recruits who have been receiving their postings uh, around the force area. Do you want to just give um, a, a small indication as to how long it takes for those new recruits to become fully operational out there in our community? So we would expect in about six months time, uh, you're quite right, we've got two courses down at our headquarters uh, in Hinlet, we've got another course uh, in our north training base up in Wellington and in Telford, and we have got all of our places filled. Uh, and about six months, the course itself is 17 weeks, uh, and then they'll come out fully operational. So about April next year, we would expect those officers to be out fully uh, uh, on our shifts and, and obviously working alongside our current patrols. Um, that would be a considerable boost to the policing numbers. Excellent. So those uh, that financial investment that we've made mid-year and an additional 100 officers, our communities will start to see roughly six months after that the impact in their, in their local communities. Yeah, correct. We've fallen below the 2000 mark currently uh, as of spring next year into the summer we will be back above uh, 2000 which is an important uh, and number four West Mercia Police. I think above 2000 we can start to give back that visibility and be much more present in the community. Under 2000 there is too much strain in my view. Okay, thank you for that. 